Uh, well, it's always improving. I, CT started out as a very um, simple procedure of a single slice obtained, you know, between one and two centimeters uh, at every one or two centimeters through a body part. And it's gotten to the point now where, as you can see on this study, that we're uh, doing sub-millimeter slices and making, uh, you know, the representation of the human body that much more accurate because of the slices, which are that much thinner. And they're also gained at a uh, much higher speed, so something that used to take sometimes 20 to 30 minutes, we could do in 20 to 30 seconds. Um, it's become an extremely important tool for the emergency department. The, uh, the ER doctors and the uh, pro providers of care in the hospital are now being trained with uh, the knowledge that diagnostic imaging is a, a friend of theirs. And so um, uh, we see a lot more ER patients and trauma patients than we did before because of the speed that we can uh, deal with the patients and that makes it a little bit safer for the patient as well. Uh, we don't want to take up much of your time, but, but while we're watching this kind of fly through here, can you tell us what we're seeing? What we're seeing here is thin slice uh, CT through the lungs of a patient who the uh, provider is concerned about a possible pulmonary embolus. Um, that means a blood clot that they suspect may have originated in, in the legs or the pelvis of the patient may have gone into the lungs. So. Um, Something that we didn't do probably five or ten year, years ago very frequently because the slices were so thick. And now the, the slices that we're looking at here are 1.25 millimeters. So any even small blood clots that uh, the patient may have thrown, we can see the, the white vessels that you see here are good normal looking vessels. If there is a blood clot, one of those vessels will see a filling defect. and. Um, just, just a, an example of how much uh, this helps us, the ventilation perfusion lung scan, which used to be pretty much the gold standard for diagnosing blood clots, can take an hour to two hours and can almost be impossible in patients who are really ill because of the fact that they're so short of breath, where you know, you take a 15 or 20 second study, even a person who's really short of breath can hold their breath for that long. 15 or 20 seconds is all it took to do that. Yeah. How many slices have we seen there at 1.2 millimeters? Well, let me give you an accurate count here, 271. 271 slices, and you go all the way through the patient's lungs. Right. You can see everything in there. Virtually everything. Pretty amazing, isn't it? It's wonderful. Uh, Makes us happy. <laughs> <laughs>